Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott, and today we're going to generate a surface based on a mathematical function. Uh, this tutorial, I'm using a definition that we already looked at in the range tutorial. Um, I've cleaned it up a little bit, but it's essentially the same thing. We have a, a range that's generated by a domain that we can edit, as well as uh, the number of steps in that range. And then a sine function is the uh, mathematical formula that we're using. I can toggle the frequency as well as the amplitude. And this is represented in a list of x, y, and z points. Right now, all in the x and z axes. So I'm just going to take this definition, select all of them, copy and paste. And I'll just drag it down, down below. And now we have two of the exact same uh, range functions. Except now that I have a second series of points, I can go ahead and edit the frequency on this one, and it doesn't change the original set of points. So now I have a less frequent, uh, less frequent sine curve and a more frequent sine curve. You can even you know, go up and change the amplitude for the first one, decrease it, keep the same. But now that we have two ranges and two sets of points, we can go ahead and create a surface based on these. So the first thing we need to do is move the second set of points. Otherwise, we won't have uh, a curve, a very nice surface. So I'll go under Crossform, Euclidean, there's a Move button. And the Move button just asks for a geometry for us to move. We'll take our set of points, throw under G, and it gives us the geometry. And then it asks for a translation vector, T. Under Vector, under Constants, we'll just move it in the uh, Y direction, so Unit Y put that in the translation vector. So here you can see that it's, it is moving it, it's duplicating it and moving it one unit in the y direction. To move it more units we'll take the uh, slider from before, copy it, and we'll move it 11 units. So we can just put 11 into F and you can see it's moved however many units over to the, in the y direction that we want. So if we highlight the move button, we get a preview of the moved coordinate points. If we go back to the second set of points, it, it still keeps those points there in a, a visual representation of those points are still the ones that we copied from the first range. To, if we don't want to see that, we can go ahead and right click and deselect the preview option and then we just see the uh, moved coordinates as well as the original points from our range. So this is uh, the majority of what we're going to do with this tutorial is the this move tool and we can move this in any um, axis or direction that we want but we're just going to keep with the 16 units in the in the y direction and now we're going to take these moved coordinates with our original points and uh, first step is going to be drawing lines in between them. So I'll just clean up the definition. Bring our uh, second set of our second range down there and then uh, look for the the line uh, the line button is under curve primitive line, just the two-point line is what we want. Zoom in and uh, highlight our first, select, our first set of points and our second set of points. The line just asks for A start point and B start point. It's pretty simple. Take the A to the first and our B to the second set of points. So here we go. We have uh, very interesting set of lines based on the 
uh, the sine curve that we first generated using a range. So these are still editable. We can go back and use the sliders to toggle, toggle those. And we can also even toggle the, uh, the, the amount of number of steps or the domain too. So we can uh, toggle the domain for the first set. We'll put that up to 26 with uh, 50 steps. And we'll go down to our second ser our second range, and we'll have that at 15 with uh, 50 steps to keep the the numbers the same. Or we we can go up to 20. So it's off uh, by five, but that generates our uh, our set of points and the lines between. So now we'll go ahead and create a surface out of this. Right now it's just these lines that we created. And to create a surface we'll just lock these lines together. The very nice uh, section lines. We'll go under surface, free form, gives us the lock button. The lock button is really easy for this. We uh, It just asks for section curves. We'll just take the S and drag it to the L and that gives us a full surface for our lines. So there you have it, a surface driven by these uh, geometric uh, mathemat mathematical functions that are still editable. We can uh, still control the period and the amplitude and everything updates as it were. So in this tutorial, uh, we took the, the basic range function with a, a sign function, copied it, and used the move tool to uh, move these points, the, the line tool to draw lines between those points, and then the lock button to get a nice even surface out of it. So there you have it. Hope you learned something. And we'll see you next time.